Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What is going on, guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today, for you guys, what we are going to be getting into is going to be a little bit of a uh, seven star review, guys. So, as you know, we got a couple of uh, seven stars that are global exclusive, to my knowledge. I still can't remember whether or not they are. But uh, I believe they're global exclusive. The first being Ciara, the other being Samara, all right? So, we're going to get into a seven star review of Ciara here. So, I have her here already involved. Um, I'm not going to get into the specifics of what they're capable of in this video. Um, I already covered that in my evolution video. If you want to go check out the 7 star evolution video for Ciara and Samara, I got into the specifics of what they're capable of. This video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Sanguine Hood Ciara. Right? So, just so you see what they're capable of, okay? Leader skill, 120% boost to the attack of fire, water, earth, thunder types. Boost elemental damage and boost BB attack. Extra skill, Red Guardian of the Woods. Absorbs HP when attacking and adds defense, ignore effect to BB slash SBB for two turns. All right. Still have to test whether or not that's instant defense ignore. Now, BB Savage Reef, 15 combo powerful fire and dark attack on all foes and boost attack for three turns. Arcane Fury is the SBB, 18 combo powerful fire, dark attack on all foes. Boost attack for three turns and adds fire, water, earth, thunder elements to attack for two turns. And then lastly, the UBB, you got Phantasma Harvest. 21 combo powerful fire, dark attack on all foes. Boost attack for three turns and boost BB attack for two turns. So, uh, sweet stuff. So, uh, what we're going to do, guys, of course, we got to go uh, see what they're capable of. So, what we're going to do is just run on out here to quest mode real quick. And uh, we're gonna gonna see what they what they all about here, okay? So uh, don't don't need to go to nothing too crazy strong. Just just kind of here to knock it out. Test drive time. You guys know what it is by now. So let's just run on over here down to the slimes. Make it happen. So a uh, friend doesn't matter too much, as we are here to test. Is that not right? All right, so let's run it. Let's run it, bruh. See what she all about. We're going to check out the uh, attacks, the animations, and all that sweet stuff. And we're going to see all the good stuff about it. We're going to do a little brief description and bada boom, bada bing. So hopefully the game loads. It's PC version sometimes, man. It scares me a little bit. Like, I don't know. All right, guys, so as expected, freaking PC version froze up on me, so I had to kind of restart it and get back in here. So uh, in order to start this thing off, we're going to uh, first turn on the battle animations, okay? Uh, yes. And then uh, we're going to start off by looking at CR's normal attack. So let's take a look. Here we go. Not too shabby. That's not too shabby. I let the rest of them get it in. Poor Sparky. Sorry, bruh. <laughs> Alright, sweetness. So next in line, let's take a look at the old BB here. So here we go. Savage Reeve. Not bad. Not bad. Defense ignore. Increase that attack. Most excellent stuff right there. Alright, so next up, let's take a look at the SBB. Ready to give her that. And here we go. Arcane Fuhrer. A lot more hits. Big old attack increase too. Paint everybody with the four elements. I like. 
I like a lot. All right, so now let's smack them one at a time. We gotta fill up our UBB gauge here so we can unleash that UBB. See what she's really capable of. Big damage. All right, uh, we can go ahead and finish these two off now. Get that overdrive gauge full. Alright, time to show off that UBB baby. Let's see what this girl got. Ready? Poor King Sparky, always beating up on him. Alright, so let's hit overdrive. Fujin, activate. Phantasma Harvest, big damage, let's go. That's pretty big damage. There it is, guys. There she blows. Seven star CR. And I am glad they did that to these units because it's six star form. Wasn't too impressive. Must admit. Must admit. Especially that drop check. Almost make you want to throw up. Alright. So, that was our test drive to check out the uh, battle animations. So let's head on back and let's take a quick gander at her one last time here just to describe my my thoughts on her. All right. Um, first off, on the leader skill, I actually think that leader skill is really good for a uh, arena, but it can also be good for a uh, semi rainbow squad. The reason I say semi because her leader skill does not really benefit the attacks on uh, light and dark units so uh, as long as you're not using light and dark units you'll make a good arena lead for that um, I do like her extra skill quite a bit though I still have to test whether or not her defense ignore added to BB and SBB um, is instant and if it's instant that's a super plus alright if it's not instant it's still a good thing um, defense ignore does add to the amount of damage alright but uh, if it's instant that's even better because you can use her for metal parade which is Excellent. All right. Um, the fact that she absorbs HP is nice too. Plus, I got that anima type, so you know we're gonna have that boost in the old HP there. So uh, her absorbing HP is actually pretty nice. I think she absorbs like I can't remember the exact numbers. I think I think it was two to five percent of the damage, three to five percent of the damage that she deals. She absorbs it, and that's a one hundred percent chance. Definite plus. Could keep you from having to heal her pretty much at at any time. Like you don't have to worry about it. Now let's talk about the uh, BB capability. Um, the BB is decent, all right. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it increases attack by 110 percent, which for a BB is excellent. Okay, and it's two elements, fire and dark. Sweet. Now um, the SBB, she's coming with every element minus light, all right, which I think is super nice, kind of like Melchior, who comes with every element except dark, all right. So uh, she does every element except light, and she paints the entire squad with all minus the light and dark elements, um, which I think is pretty freaking sweet. I think because of that SBB alone, I'm going to end up adding Ciara to my uh, general requesting squad because uh, she paints with those four elements, and I like that. I like that quite a bit. I must say, I do like it. So I may, I may end up doing that. All right, but then the UBB of um, the UBB. I'm not uber impressed with um, it attacks with fire and dark elements so two elements is nice um, it does give you a pretty nice attack boost the BB attack boost is impressive as well but it's just a power UBB there's nothing really super special about it I mean if you use our UBB you're just using it to get a super attack boost which you will I mean you will get a really high attack boost in those next few turns. You're going to be dealing some serious damage. But uh, that's about it with that UBB. All right. Um, but the main thing about her, in my opinion, her extra skill is good and the SBB is really nice. All right. I think she'll be a pretty solid um, arena lead. As um, long as you don't come across any uh, light and dark units, you'll be all right. 
So uh, that is solely up to you though. I personally wouldn't use her for arena, but I don't think she's a bad arena lead by any means. Um, but I don't, I don't really think too too many people be using her as leader at all. But she's a pretty good sub unit in my opinion, right? Me personally, as far as she goes for a seven star, I think I would give her a B plus. Um, she's not an uber impressive seven star in my opinion. But uh, the attack boost is great. The multi-elemental attacks is great. Um, her extra skill automatically 100% guaranteed absorbing HP is great. And adding that defense and noise is great as well. I just got to check if it's instant. Alright, if it's instant defense and noise, she definitely get a little bit of a boost in that in that category. But uh, I don't think she's an uber impressive unit. But I am going to use her. I am most definitely going to be using her. Um, more than likely on my general questing squad. If she has instant defense ignore, I will be using her on my metal parade squad as well. If she does not, probably won't be. All right, so still testing required there. But a uh, half energy vortex is coming up, so uh, I'll definitely be able to have that answer for you guys here soon. Um, as soon as half energy vortex comes up, I'm going to be going crazy in the metal parade, trying to level up units and whatnot. So I'll be finding out rather soon. So, uh, but. That's the uh, review of Sanguine Hood CR in my opinion guys, pretty decent unit alright, she's a 7 star, can't be horrible right? So uh, that'll wrap up this video guys, reviewing Sanguine Hood CR 7 star unit guys, so uh, if you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description, otherwise thank you all for watching, please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment and everything else, and of course I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon. Later guys!